As the Dow approaches 20,000, more and more investors have wanted to get into the game and ride the wave of the so-called Trump rally. And as Aditi Roy tells us, one highly sought-after group may be changing its attitude toward investing. When Donald Trump won the election, 27-year-old Nick Cinquino made changes to his stock portfolio. I've changed my individual stock plays. Uh, I held a lot of solar, so I had to adjust for that, and I kind of took that loss as soon as Trump won the election. He isn't the only millennial watching Trump and his pocketbook. Ruchi Shah is more cautious. I was not sure what will happen, so I'm right now in like wait and watch mode and then thinking what to do. Unlike Shah and Cinquino, most younger Americans don't invest. A recent bank rate survey found only one third of millennials invest in the stock market. But that doesn't deter companies like Robinhood. The Palo Alto, California based investment company targets millennials by operating on a mobile only stock trading platform. 90% of its clients are under the age of 35. And the firm, which has 1 million users, says it's noticed a significant uptick in investing since the election. The company reports the day after the election was its biggest transaction day. Transaction volumes increased more than 90%, and new accounts grew by 71%. In the week after the election, Robinhood transacted more than $1 billion through the platform, up 50% from the week before. Robinhood isn't the only millennial-focused investing platform seeing an uptick. Stash allows its users, whose average age is 30, to invest as little as $5 in fractions of ETF shares. It's seen a 30 percent increase in daily inflows since the election. And Acorns, which allows users to round up everyday purchases and invest the spare change in portfolios, tells us that it has seen an increase in user accounts after the election, but that uptick is consistent with its month-over-month -month growth rate. These millennial-driven services face a big challenge. Two-thirds of millennials have less than $1,000 in their bank accounts, according to a 2016 Go Banking Rate survey. Still, Robin Hood's co-founder says he believes the company's post election election momentum could be just the beginning. I think there certainly is a coming of age of the millennial demographic uh, to be a part of the economy, right? Like this is, I think 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 are going to be the first years that a lot of these new consumers are going to have their first few hundred or a few thousand dollars to save. Even as millennials like Jake Lowenheim say, they're not changing their portfolios one bit. I kind of learned a long time ago that you know, things are cyclical and they, they kind of go on their own. Uh, not, not big ways to move a needle just based on a political movement. While it remains unclear whether this uptick in transaction volume will continue, the folks here at Robinhood are hopeful that they will be able to capture some of the vast financial potential of millennials, a group that some experts estimate will have $8 trillion worth of global net annual income by the year 2025. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Aditi Roy, Palo Alto, California.